everyone, DIY Craft Tub here to show you how to put beads onto your monster tail and this is what some of them are going to look like. As you can see here, these are some baseballs and these don't have any beads but this is one of my favorites and it has some ceramic beads. Super, super cute. And I'm going to be showing you this exact pattern and how to put beads onto your monster tail. So this design actually belongs to the Rainbow Loom Monster Tail Instruction Manual and it is a single band quad fish. So the beads that I'm using, I bought them at Michael's. Um, there's some baseballs and there's also these little soccer balls. They're super cute. World Cup. Go Dodgers. And you're going to need a monster tail, and if you don't have a monster tail, you can configure any rainbow loom into a monster tail shape using Craft Life's um, tutorial. So go check her out. I also have these really cool evil eye beads that I really love. However, the hole is too small, so if you have any beads where the hole is too small, you can check out Marloom's Creations Elvis Presley tutorial, and she shows you how to thread your um, rubber band through the bead. So if you have any beads that are too small, however, these beads, the soccer, sorry, soccer ball and baseball beads, um, the hole here is a really good size, so it's going to fit. So, there you go, and let's get started. Before we begin, you are going to need your choice of beads. Today I'm going to be using these baseball beads, and they're going to end up coming out just like this. And I'm going to be showing you this exact pattern. You can also use ceramic beads or even pony beads if you have pony beads. These are, like I said, ceramic and um, this is the same pattern that I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. You can see it's two white and blue, two white, so two colors, one different color, two, one. I'm going to alternate and I'll show you how to do that. So go ahead and pick out your two colors and your beads and let's get started. Um, also, I just want to show you guys real quick that this is from the Monster Tail Rainbow Loom Instruction Manual and it is the single band quad fish. So to get started, I'm going to take my first two colors which are going to be white. I'm going to put the first white band onto the loom and take the outer corner, bring it inside and hook it around that first peg. And do the same thing over here. Take the outside corner bring it out and around, place it right there. Again, bring it inside, hook it around, bring it inside, hook it around. So your shape should look just like this on your loom. Push those down. And you're going to put another white band on top. Just like a square. Push it down and you're going to put your next color right on top just like that. I'm doing white white blue it's going to come out white white blue alternating. So now once you have three bands on your loom you're going to hook these front two over you're going to do the same thing on the other side the bottom goes over the top push it down now we're going to put, see how there's a white band right here? That tells us what color needs to go on next. So I'm going to put a white one. Now see that it's white, the one that I just put on? If you don't want to keep track, it's just an easy way to do it. See now the ones that I'm looping over, they're blue. Now it's time to put a blue one on. You're going to loop over. Those ones we just did were white. 
I'm hooking white over so I'm gonna put a white one on and I push it down each time I'm hooking blue over so now I put a blue on and once you've reached your desired length for where you want your beads to be so I'm gonna go ahead and put one on right now and the color that I'm gonna be looping over right now would be white so I'm going to put my bead onto a white band so go ahead and take take your bead and slip your band through there um, my needle is a clover 2.75 millimeter I love it because it fits through all beads all pony beads and I just love it okay so once you have your bead looped and threaded through your your band um, you can go ahead and put it on to the loom you're going to put one on this corner and then one over here now you're going to take this band and stretch it right there you're going to go in right here and stretch that band right over there okay so that's going to act just like the square that we put on but it's got a bead in there so let's go ahead and loop those over and if your bead happens to be the hole is really too too small you can watch Marloom's Creations Elvis tutorial and she has a great tutorial on how to thread beads um, and if your hook doesn't fit through there or if it just doesn't want to go through so I just hooked over blue I'm going to put another blue on okay and then just keep repeating that pattern see how I'm hooking over white now you're gonna put on a white so I'm going to meet you back in a minute and I'll show you because once I end up it once it ends up coming out it's going to kind of be caught in a net and I'll show you how to push it through once I join you back in just a minute. Once you have loomed your single quad fish all the way through with beads it is now time to push the beads through there we go and you can see right here that there's a fishtail and then there's another one going down um, if you go all the way around there's four that's why they call it quad fish four um, and anyways you are going to follow along this fishtail right here and you're gonna see an opening and you're gonna push it through kind of spread the bands and then on the other side you're gonna push it so that it's in the middle just like that you can also push it all the way out for a different look and you can have it look just like that um, you can oops keep it halfway so that you have this look or you can also pop these out and then you got a completely different bracelet look going on so same thing with these you can pop them out um, but they do stay in place pretty well with the edges it's kinda like a border going around the edges so same thing here we're gonna go and do the next one you're gonna follow the fishtail up here so you know which direction to start spreading the bands around the bead and there you go so just keep on going and then add your c-clip when you're done and you have yourself a fabulous fabulous bracelet 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you liked my tutorial, please give it a thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to making some more videos for you guys. Tell me how you liked it and have a nice day. Bye!